This next workshop presentation uh, is from a group uh, that uh, had to operate under a real uh, handicap uh, that was the group that I advised this semester. And, uh, but I think they did a wonderful job, uh, just the same, uh, of highlighting a very important issue, which is the sustainability of one of New York's uh, largest and fastest growing industries, which is the film uh, and video business. If you go throughout the streets of New York at any time, uh, day or night, uh, whatever season, you're going to see uh, thousands of people on the street making movies and making TV shows. And one of the goals of our group this semester was to help uh, that industry become uh, less uh, environmentally destructive. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, introduce our next speaker. Good morning, my name is Lauren Harper and I'll be presenting to you sustainability in New York City's film and television industry. So a little background first, the film and television industry has grown substantially in the past decade, allowing um, New York to rank third in the US for film production. And since 2011, 100, and, I mean, sorry, 1.2 million jobs have been created in New York City, and $19.9 .9 billion have been contributed to the New York state economy from the film and TV industry. So this is no surprise because due in part, um, New York City has grown because of its New York State Film Tax Credit, which provides $420 million to promote production within the state of New York. And out of all the production that takes place in New York State, 90% of production spending takes place in New York City. So you're probably asking yourself why are we looking at the film and TV industry as well as sustainability in New York City? Well, there's 8 million people who live in New York, soon to be 10 million, and all of those people need resources like energy, water, and also generate large amounts of waste. And so in order to help New York City meet its sustainability goals, it is helpful for all industries to adopt sustainability-based practices, including the film and TV industry. And we believe that our recommendations that I'm going to present to you here can help do that. But first, let's look at why sustainability is such an issue in the film and TV industry. So here you can see a daily craft service table that is normally on the set of a production shoot and this catering is there every single day and provides food to the crew members but whatever is not utilized and consumed winds up being sent to a landfill and over time can accumulate lots of waste and so that's a negative impact that this kind of industry can have. Additionally, um, greenhouse gases can be an issue. On this on-site set, you can see that there are lights, there are cables running energy to all of the lights and all of the equipment needed to produce the um, scene. And you can also see that there's the generators powering some of those um, instruments. And those instruments using um, energy create greenhouse gases if they do not come from a sustainable source. And in addition, all of that equipment needs to be transported there, which can add to its greenhouse carbon footprint. Last is material sourcing impacts. Um, many productions use wood for their construction production. And what happens is they, if they're not getting this wood from some place that's um, clear cutting and also replanting plants, it can have a negative environmental impact. Also, once these materials are painted and utilized for a scene, they're often unable to be recycled and then they wind up making their way to a landfill. Although material sourcing can have negative impacts on both sides, New York City does lead the nation in its use of sustainably certified wood. Other sustainability challenges that we looked at, um, although there are hierarchy leadership within the film and TV industry working to create sustainability standards and hoping to implement more sustainability practices into the industry, there's still a need for more sustainability training, education, as well as financial incentives on a crew member day-to-day -day production director level um, that happens every day on set. In addition, um, there's a need to improve building efficiency as well as infrastructure. Many um, movies and television shows are shot in sound studios in New York, and many of those sound studios are in old buildings that have poor, in, like that have poor infrastructure, are not well insulated, and may have um, inefficient energy and water um, infrastructure. So what can be done to encourage the film and TV industry to be more sustainable? We have come up with two recommendations. The first is to develop a, sustainable, a sustainability tax incentive that would provide a rebate for all um, tax expenditures spent on any sustainable practice. So this could be from a production having water bottles that they order in pallets 
for all of their crew members and moving to installing um, water refill stations for reusable water bottles. Any of the funding expended on the reusable filled water bottle stations would then, um, the crew member would be able to receive a tax credit on the installation on that material based off of whatever taxes were expended for that purchase. Our other recommendation is to establish a cross-production warehouse. This would be a central location that would allow productions to store or even recycle their wardrobe, furniture, and even sets in order to be reused for uh, by other productions and by other TV shows. So whether they are ending a film or ready to gear up for a sequel in a few years, these materials could st stay at one place in order to um, divert them from a landfill. So. How did we come up with this proposal? Um, we conducted a policy analysis where we looked at what some productions that are working under sustainable best practices are doing. We then conducted an economic, economic analysis to see if tax incentives work and what money the city is already expending on sustainability based projects and initiatives. We then also conducted a stakeholder analysis where we found out if our recommendations were feasible to the broad audience within the industry and how to best to get um, people in the industry to adopt our recommendations. So within our policy analysis, um, we looked at nine productions that are participating in a New York City-based sustainability program. And out of those nine productions, when we ran the data, we were able to find out that on average, they're able to divert 84 tons of waste. This is the amount of waste that's accumulated by the Lower East Side neighborhood in one day. And then they're also able to um, reduce their greenhouse gases by 152 megatons of CO2e, and this is similar to 33 passenger cars driving on the road for one year. So from this policy analysis, we showed that by implementing sustainability-based practices, it is possible to reduce your environmental impact. Um, and our economic analysis, going back to the sustainable productions I was talking about in our policy analysis, they were also able on average to save $44,000 a year per production by adopting sustainability-based practices, which shows that they can have cost savings. In addition, when we examined the New York State Film Tax Credit, we found that for every dollar that goes in, the state gets back a dollar and 15 cents um, as a return on its investment, which shows that um, tax credits and a sustainability tax credit could work in a place like New York because the sustainability, f the New York State Film Tax Credit already has shown that that is possible. In addition, um, New York City is already making substantial financial investments into sustainability based initiatives. When we looked at the fiscal year 2018 budget, we saw that the, that the city had allocated $425 million for six departments to implement sustainability initiatives as well as projects. Next, we did a stakeholder analysis where we talked to people within the industry and they felt that financial incentives were a preferred motivator within the industry and could help to um, increase the adoption of sustainable practices. Um, they are already familiar with the New York State Film Tax Credit, which is something they're comfortable with. So adding an additional tax credit is something that would be very familiar and easy to adopt. In addition, um, they did mention that waste and energy services are not always controlled by productions. As I mentioned before, with the, um, the sound studios and the poor infrastructure, they can't necessarily control the amount of energy or retrofit the energy use within that building. So that's something that's out of their control and there's another solution needed for that, but another analysis. Moving forward, so sustainability can be achieved with economic prosperity. As you've seen from our economic analysis as well as our policy analysis, sustainability and reducing your environmental impact can be achieved while also saving money, increasing your economic prosperity. Initiatives can also catalyze the adoption of sustainability practices once productions know that they can reduce their costs for a general production as well as be able to tout their environmental success. They're able to then adopt more sustainable practices in order to um, save money as well as reduce their environmental impact. A sustainability tax incentive could increase sustainability um, production accessibility. By that I mean those that are participating in small productions would be able to save money using a sustainability, using sustainable practices, allowing them to adopt that behavior at a smaller production level and also take that to a larger level once they um, have worked in the field for a while.
And so even though incorporating sustainability into the film and TV industry is no small feat, um, there are productions working to do so. We believe that our sustainability sales tax incentive, as well as our cross-production warehouse, is a step in the right direction for New York City, as well as um, the city of New York. And we feel that this recommendation could serve as a model not only for large metropolitan cities like New York, but anyone hoping to increase sustainability in the film and TV industry. And with that, I would like to thank our advisor, Professor Dr. Cohen, as well as our managers, Mima and Jingjing. And with that, I will take your questions.